Welcome back to Wastelands 3. We've recruited another two people in our group. Let's take a look at who they are. And these are all the same. They're in the max DPS build. They all have they've built out strength. They have death wish, lethal weapon. As you can see, they're basically the same. These other characters have a little more speed. Just one more, a little more balanced out. But nevertheless, this is how this is built out. As for perks, uh, we don't have any perk points, but we will be getting this one here, healthy, when we can. As for skills, we got brawler and brawling into five, and the reason why you want to get that is because you get, uh, let's see, what is it here? You get extreme combo. This means your combos can go higher than 5x. This is really important for later on in the game because you want to do massive damage, and uh, that's what that's good for. So now that we're here, we want to do a couple of things. Now that you have more characters, you can go in here and actually fight this um, guy here. And now's the time you can come out and fight him. Raj. We get this cleaned out, you can put your truck in here. Okay, so what you can do with this is you can go to this guy here, equip uh, this thing. And now that everybody, let's get everybody in position. Get them all close. We're gonna, well, let's get over here. He's gonna come alive, and we're gonna go ahead and try to pound him. Because he's gonna fight us. And here he goes. Woohoo! Okay, he's level 6. He's got a ton of hit points. So this is where it's gonna get to be a problem. Don't know if we can stun him, but let's go ahead and go to town on this guy here. So she's our medic right here. So we're going to get him. Let's see who has that. It doesn't have that ready. So we're going to start with him. So you can see we're hardly doing any damage to this guy. Got combo up to four. And go like that. We're going to get the Scottster, this guy here, the Quanster. And he happened to shoot one of our players. Let's get this person together. She can go with a stun here. We need to save two APs for that. Everybody pound it. There we go. And he has one more AP. We'll go like that. Okay, so wait. And here she comes. We have a little more. Come on. Look at that snap. Slapping him around. He's almost dead. And there we go. Because you stun him. You can go to town on him again. So the one that needs the APs, we're going to go with uh, Dr. Nachos. You dare miss. So this one. thing here, Thundering Strike, is very important because it allows you to stun things. That's really, really huge in this game. Because if you can stun them, they can't hit you. So this thing you can use at Mechanic 7, the Slicer Dicer. This is going to be really nice to have and just more junk and whatnot. This thing is a decent assault rifle, requires energy cells. So now that we've got him, this requires pick lock level three. And let's see what he's got. He got some good experience from that. Let's see if we have any points. Pick lock, we can get pick lock level three. 
but we do want to have mechanics level three. This will come in handy later. So I'm going to wait off on getting the truck there. And we've succeeded at doing this. Nice mini boss fight. We're going to leave that room over there and we're going to head out. Let me show you the first thing you want to do when you get out there. Is you want to get uh, some recruits. There's a dog over there. Going to Colorado Springs and these are the first things you should do. You got to visit Daisy. And after that, she's going to want you to go to Garden Heights or whatever. So, so far you can see this group puts out a lot of DPS. And with the ability to stun, uh, you can still go another round. But you have to make sure your stun is up. So how do you do that? You make sure you can fight smaller encounters to get your Thunderstrike ready. That way, when the you-know-what hits the fan, you'll be ready. It would be good to have a evasion character they send out there first, but we've got the Quanster for that, and he can go ahead and take some hits. He's got armor and all that, and his good perception. So now that we've made it here, we're all set. So there's a thing here where you can free this guy. But before that, we're going to quickly go into here. We should build some more watchtowers around the garden. Dorsey slipped right back. And let's go ahead and get her quest. Whatever this is one we're working is. on right here called Corner Rats. And ma'am, yes, ma'am. And I'm now the and please go in there and kick some ass, Rangers. Oh, yeah, we'll do that. We, you know, that's why you hired us. And then she's going to come along, Lucia. Hmm. I'm not sure why the sheriff didn't assign me marshal. As Sheriff Daisy told you, they and some of our neighbors were taken hostage by the Dorseys. And I mean to free them. All of them. So, okay, certainly... Okay, let's pick her up true. because we, it's She's nice to have right. one more person. At last. <sighs> yes, okay. So let's take a look at her. And she's okay up close because look at this pistol. That's 3543. It's a decent weapon right here. But here's what we got. Uh, look at this machine turret. This is requires mechanics too. Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna put this back in here. So we're gonna be ready for just about everything. While you're here, you can also visit the vendors and buy stuff from them. So she doesn't have this, but let's take a look at her attributes, uh, skills. I mean, and uh, she has weapon modding three. This is really really big, and so she's gonna be our weapon modder and. Um, Go back to this here. She doesn't have armor modding, but she can weapon mod. So let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. See this weapon here? It can be modded if we want to. If When we get some mods for it, we can go and install those. But all we have right here is uh, increases the damage. Okay. Okay, and so she's gonna go ahead and modify it. And there we go, it increases the damage on this. So now his gun has uh, two more damage, and this is very, very helpful. But it's time to get these guys some armor. So armor three, armor four, give him armor four, pants, and let's see here. Let's get her uh, top here and get her uh, required strength three. They're gonna have to switch these pants. Here, he can wear these pants. And she can wear this one here. Let's get her that. And I don't think we have anything else. Just a dirty sock for her. Maybe she can wear that. These weapons here are worse than what our guy has. We do have another rocket launcher uh, RPG, which is also nice. If this character can use, she needs explosives one. And he needs explosives one too. So we need to put explosives on them to be able to use this. And he doesn't have it, but he may have it. No. 
So our two front liners are the ones with explosives one. I'm going to put that on them too. So once again, let's go out now that we have her. Next thing you want to do is you want to quickly come down here. You can free him Austin later. He'll come work for you at your base. Okay, trying to charm animal. That did not work, I guess. There we go, got him. Okay, so <laughs> got one little cat, which is good. Quickly go down here. This is your first encounter that you can do here. But what I advise before that is... Garden of the Gods is just north of Market Square. Because you can use that. The Arapaho garage is just outside the You can use that encounter there to get your cooldowns up like this. Well, he's already up and hers will be up. So let's get over here. There's a disarm explosive right here. It is. We best stay back. And let's do that. Just do God this quest. Holy mackerel! Better stay back from my stall. Those goddamn really. I'm back in business. Yeah, that's right, lady. So anyway, we did that. And let's go over here. Welcome to the fresh. You didn't hear this from me, Franz, but we're sardine leaf. And let's check out her wares. She should have something good. Exactly, the nail box. Look at this thing here. You need four brawling. And we're going to see who has four brawling, but better at this level is this thing. So we want to get this weapon right here, but first sell the junk. And there we go. We have now 316. Let's go ahead and buy this here. This is a good weapon. And these are all also melee weapons. I'd like to have this right here, but right now we got to see if he has four in that skill. So if we look at uh, skills, he has brawling. He can only go up to three, unfortunately. And she can go up to four brawling, which is really good. So we can actually put it on her, which would be good. These guys have five brawling, which is even better. Look at Kwai Chang King. He's got five brawling. So let's go ahead and get that and then start distributing it. Hey, you chums. Welcome to Taiwan Jones's Emporium, Sardine Leaf. Okay, so this is it, 166. We're gonna buy that weapon. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have anything else. These are nice helmets that can help, but at this level, we're not gonna really need it at all. And we're gonna give him this nail box here. You know this guy would love to have this, this weapon here. But we'll put it on her. And at the same time, go to this character and give her this thing. It's better than nothing, but take what you can get. Now this guy, we're going to go ahead and put med kits on him. He needs a med kit. They all have med kits like that. She can also use this bigger med kit. And she has a med kit. So everybody's good to go on the, in the med kit department. Finally, after we've done that, Let's go, and we have a couple quick things to do. And we can free the doctor. We can get the doctor set. Let's go over here. Did you see the doors <coughs> so these are the first things you should do yeah, when you get out here. And these guys are dying here, so let's go ahead and talk to him. Hey, Doc. Quan Understood, brother. And he says, can you help me? And I don't have barter. time or tools to save them. Thank you. And there goes the mission there. And these are supplies. Kit and a medic pack. Got that? These folks are literally dying. We'll talk more when you come back. And those things can be found over here, I believe. That's just drugs. There we go. That's the last of them. 
Let's round him up and bring him back to Doc Parker. And when you go in here, this guy is bleeding right here. And he'll tell you what he needs. Suture kit. Okay. So let's see if she has a suture kit. Um, Am I right? She there's a suture kit. So let's put the suture kit on her. And Honey will go ahead and use the suture kit to save him. Good. Okay, one down. I won't miss staring at my own gods. Med pack. So this one is just a med pack. Jumped out injury of kit on this guy. To escape the Dorseys. So he needs an injury kit. So like this. So let's go ahead and we'll give him the injury kit. My leg! You said it! Ugh, still hurts like a bitch, but maybe let's get her the med kit. Again. Where? What's going on? Did you patch me up? So nothing there. So now, what now? We did it. Good. I know I've asked. You see, if you let me use the facilities at your HQ, of course. HQ, and you're who we I'll... want. So Doc Thank Parker you. will now. Before I get my stuff together, will be back at, base, at your base, and you can Rangers, also. I chat. But there's a lot to wrap up before I make my way to your headquarters. You can also recruit more people here, but let's go ahead and do one encounter because you're probably curious how this is all going to work out. There is an alley in here where you can fight a bunch of guys, but we're going to do this one here because this is pretty quick. Come out of there, you sons of bitches! Josiah, come on! Come, Sarnet! You Dorsey peckerheads, get on out of there! Hush! You think- oh, Since, will you help me talk some sense into this old fool? Okay. If he goes after those Dorseys, he'll get himself That's right, killed. you don't want him to get killed. Uh, why don't you Thank let his professionals you. handle it? You do this, you'll get a nice discount at the shop. Oh yeah, we want that you discount. Still have a shop by the time so, let's over. go ahead, he's got the perception, we'll put him here, let's start staging these guys right nearby and this character can go behind him you want to line him up in this fashion gonna rush him in just like this and this is good old Kwai Chang Kane he will be there okay so here we go pop in the door now you gotta be careful in here Shit, Hotlanders! We thought you was all dead! Back off! There we go. He's out of the range. So when he's out of the range, he can start shooting at him. But you got to realize there's a guy way, way out there. So what we can do is we can start off. Let's try to get the furthest away guy, which is this guy here. Ha! Got the jump on him! Got him. Nice shot. And now combat started. So we got one guy, which is really good. And we go back to him. His precision strike is not ready. We can't hit this guy, but let's go ahead and we can't hit him. We don't have a lot. Oh, there we go. So we'll take that. Now it's time to bring the other guys, get them into action. Now with her, she... Her thing only has AP of three, so she's only gonna get one shot at the guy. So let's go ahead and move her in as close as she can so she doesn't And there's her shot. We need to take this guy out way down here, so we're gonna use our fastest people, and it's these two. So he's gonna get two hits on this guy out here. There we go. Let's go ahead and get him out. And Nachos is pretty fast. He's got a little more speed than the other ones. Oh, you 
you've got to be kidding me he missed that's that's really not good okay so let's get this guy here and finish this guy off and he has his nice nice weapon And we have one more. Honey, we should be able to make it here to finish him off. And with our nice DPS, we're able to take him down. Good work, everybody. And there you go, guys. That's it. So we got him. And at the same time, we can go ahead and pick up more loots. And we can use all of these. There's something over there. A nice, dirty, stinky sock. An ammo box. Okay, we go back out there. Nothing else. And that was quick. Didn't take any hits there. We'll clean up and here. Come on back. And got 57 from him. Nobody has this guy here. Has leveled up. So since he has leveled up. Got another perk so the first perk i want to go for up here real quick is i want to go for this constitution he'll get more hit points uh it i think it is the best one you can get five percent evasion if you're an evasion build but let's go with this you can also get shaolin strike here which is really nice you can enable this which will do uh two armor penetration it resets your combo meter deals 100 percent damage to demoralized target Okay, so let's go with this. This is more important. It'll put his hit points way up there. Okay, so he's... One more thing here. Let's go into attributes. Let's start uh, pumping his strength even more. Let's make him even deadlier. Let's go into skills. And under skills, he should have... We can actually add these in later. He's got four points, so we're going to go ahead and add those as we need it. And since he's a little damaged, oh, she's got it too. And her skills, she can increase brawling, but we still don't know which ones we're going to need here. We're going to need more explosives and so on. So let's go ahead. And as you can see here, if you look at these, this is this guy's Thunderstrike is ready to go. That's really important. His is close to going. And these are important because in the next fight, you're going to need to stun a lot of people. Let's go back over to the dock, see if he's there. Rangers, I chat. Rangers, I chat, but there's a lot to wrap up. He's gonna make, make us go back to the base. Okay, so he's gonna do that. So now, what we can do is we can prepare to do our next mission. But before you do that, make sure everybody has enough med packs on them they need at least one we have this med pack here also we want to check the weapons let's go and quickly sell hey chums welcome to taiwan jones's emporium sardine lee and let's go ahead sell junk sell this sell this we don't need these weapons pick up money and there are no new armors or weapons that we can use here unfortunately we'll have to just get those out in the field and your next mission is going to be with this guy it's going to be out here there are a few things you can explore around here like there's some garbage cans and things that they're always good to go for but you can do that if you talk to Marshall Lipinski he will open the door for you and Get you set up for the next quest. My apologies, Miss West. 
Okay. I meant no, no room for amateurs. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next episode. No room.